There we are. It is simplicity itself. This key must be important to be hidden here. A hammer covered in blood. Holmes, there is someone in that hut. I saw Watson. Come and keep your revolver at the ready just in case. Open up. We're not the police. Do not be alarmed. That's a strange way of reassuring someone. Holmes, they are children. My God, one of them is hurt. What do you want? Don't come any closer. Are you the police? Don't be afraid. I am a doctor. I'm going to look at your friend's wound. Wait, Watson. I've got some questions to ask these children. This is urgent, Holmes. In this filthy place, the risk of infection is very high, and the wound could get worse with every second lost. The immediate danger for these children is not so much the wound as Mr. Fletcher. Who? Look at the wound, Watson. It's thin and precise. It was made by a sharp, well-kept blade. Any other blade, less well-kept, would have torn the tissue around it and its size would be irregular. So what does that imply? In this area, who would take such great care with a blade? A butcher, of course. And the only butcher in the area is Samuel Fletcher, who at this moment is replacing a window that has been forced open. He's a man to hold grudges, as anyone around here will tell you. The children are in danger. A man as skillful with a knife as a butcher, and with a bad reputation to match, could easily strike a fatal blow by cutting the child's jugular. If he hasn't done it, it's surely because these little thieves broke into his shop at night to steal a piece of meat. The poor lighting in this area saved them. I can assure you that Mr. Fletcher has spent the day trying to trace these children, and if he finds them, wounds will be the least of their problems. That's... that's true. What do you want? Don't let the butcher find us. Dr. Watson will see to your wound, but the treatment won't be free. I don't need to remind you that life is hard, you know that already. Give me the address of a certain Kurtz, and the doctor will dress your wound. No address, no treatment. I... I can't tell you, mister. Kurtz is a dangerous madman. Holmes, you go too far. You have frightened the poor child. Justice is sometimes harsh, young man. If the police hear about this breaking and entering, they will see Mr. Fletcher's side of the story. No! Don't call the police! Please, mister! We don't want to end up in prison! I'm looking for a certain Kurtz. I... I can't tell you, mister. In that case, I must take the side of justice. You and your brother are thieves. All right, all right, don't call the police. Kurtz is a dangerous madman. He's called the Colonel round here. I heard he was in the Boer War in Africa. He lives in Batty Street next to the wine shop. The way he smells, he must be a good customer. Good. Watson, see to the wound. Never mind about the police. We must protect these children from that butcher, Holmes. It won't be necessary. I've had dealings with Samuel Fletcher before now. He's not the monster I've made him out to be. If he had wanted to kill them, he would have done so, even in dim light. By wounding the little thief, he wanted to warn him never to set foot in his shop again. Forget Mr. Fletcher, Watson. You... you mean you lied to frighten those poor children? Exactly. Clever wasn't it? Well, mister, that's a mighty fine outfit you're wearing there. You stand out like a sore thumb, and that's no lie. Watch that you don't get it all dirtied up, but you'd be welcome to come back to my place. It's not far, and I'd sponge it down for you. <laughs> Don't go back to Jenny's place. <laughs> You'll get malaria. <laughs> Thank you, madam. 
I'm certain that you would make a very good job of it. Uh, that will not be necessary, however. Uh, but your thought was a kind one. We'd best be leaving now, sir. Here, please accept this sovereign as a token of my gratitude for your concern. Well, I never. Thank you. That's right generous of you, my uh, lordship. You are very welcome, madam. Madam, he calls me. Bless my garters. What a gent. If you're ready now, sir. Yes, let us go. What a remarkable man, the Prince Woodville, to talk to such a woman as though she was an equal. Let's find Batty Street. <laughs>